I'm right here in the shop with Lieutenant, and it's me and the cat. Cats love mower seats. Anyway, uh, today's mission... Oh, this is episode two. I'm supposed to say the name for the mower. There's only been one new person on Patreon. He goes by the name Astro, so it looks like it's going to be Lieutenant Astro. Anyway, if that changes the title, will probably you'll probably know before I know. Well, that don't make sense. Anyway, at this part of the video, you'll know before I know. Uh, so today's mission, I got this from the big box store. I want to cut it into four sections and make a lift kit, get it a couple inches taller. It steers great, but when you turn it sharp, those big tires rub on the hood, and I don't love that. I've already got a handful of nuts, bolts, and washers. And a little tip, if you go to Tractor Supply, they sell these by the pound. If you go to the other places, there's one place right here in my town, they sell them individually. This would have been probably, I don't know, $10 or more. And at Tractor Supply, it was about 3 bucks. So thumbs up to buying them by the pound. So step one, I'm going to pop the hood off, take the front end apart, and then we got to put it all together. Should be an easy job. That's when it rubs. It is time to rip that front end apart. Okay, if all goes as planned, this is going to be the quickest, easiest lift kit I've ever done. Lift kit update. The cat is starting to wake up. I guess we better speed up. Anyway, the lift kit got a little more complicated. I had to drill one hole here, so that would be four holes total. And that's going to lift it up a little bit higher, so that's a good thing. Anyway, still on a scale from one to easy. Easy. Quick update, the cat is still asleep and this side is completely done. I just got to tighten it down. On the other side, I've got to make one cut, drill two holes, and then put it together. I just got to find a few more washers. This side took 12 washers and I've got about seven over there. All right, good news, the cat is still on the seat, awake, yawning, stretching. And on the lift kit, it is all done. All bolts are tight, both sides. I just got to put the hood back on. And I'll make you a parts list. It was eight bolts, eight nuts, eight lock washers, and 24 flat washers. Let me take it off the jack. And so that's enough clearance, it should never rub. We've got sitting on level ground, we have at least two inches of clearance. And if we check the lift, the total amount of lift would be about two and a half inches. We should walk over to the original pole and see how much of lift it has. I'm thinking maybe five inches. So the original pole had about six and a half inches of lift. It was squatting in the back, but it did have taller tires too. I gotta get out and run it soon. Still have not sold the paddle tires. There's Silver Bullet. There's Troy number five. And Shop Kitty is still keeping the seat warm. Is it time to wake up? Lazy? S10 update, I gotta get a fuel pump, fuel lines, radiator hose, put it all together. So this is what the lift kit looks like in real life. 
I'm going to go out on this smooth grass, turn it sharp as I can turn it, see if I can get the tires to rub on the hood. Maybe tomorrow we can take the river, hit some sand dunes, hit some trails, maybe hit a little mud, see if we can get it to rub there. This first test should be easy. Okay, good enough. I think it's ready for the river. That was our preliminary test in my homemade sand. Anyway, I tried to hook it to the tiller, but there's too many wheelie bars in the way. Oh well. Chet 327 and me and the lieutenant have made it down to the river. One, two, three, four, five boat trailers. Pretty busy. Anyway, it's not raining a while, so there should be plenty of sand showing. And I've got a basket for hauling the luggage. Gotta get the sand loaded, get to the river. Get to the sand. So the last time we were here, there was no way to get to this point unless we had a boat and the water was flowing really fast. Anyway, this is all high and dry now. More riding area. Love it like this. So we're under the shade of the bridge, the train is going by, it's nice, calm, cool in the shade. And I have a, that's a lemon tea with a Snickers bar, Snickers almond to be more specific. I'm going to take a little break. And while I'm here I might pick up some cans, you know, clean up the river a little bit. So with the new front lift kit I've not had the tires rub once and I think this would be a great place to test it out. There's some rock crawling to the sandbar, that's the extreme side over here. Be the tame, mild side. We might try this side. And this mower is pulley swapped, it's just not extreme, so we still got some low end to go over these rocks. Let's get it.
And from this angle, it don't look that tough. Same thing about this side. It didn't look tough at all, and it almost flipped me or threw me off. Anyway, let's take a couple pictures of this. And if we get stranded, broke down, stuck, there is fish to eat. Go ahead and hit the like button for rock crawling. Ah, oh, piece of cake, that's nothing extreme.
So I don't know if this is the end of the video. I know it's the end of the river ride. And right now we're going with Lieutenant Astro. And these are all the cans I found. I'm going to put something on top of them to keep them blowing out. And only two cans will work in Mr. Hector. Oh well. The good news is those are already crushed. The bad news is those are already crushed. Back from the river there is Lieutenant Astro. And we're going all the way back to Mr. Hector. And i got to drop in two cans. These two cans that we picked up at the river. There's one. And there's two. All about eight more. We'll be able to crush them. So Mr. Hector is all full of cans. Let's crush them. So I couldn't find the henna, so we went with a permanent marker. Maybe next time we'll do henna. L.T. Johnson. This is bloopers from the 13-year-old.